easy to back. He's available at uh, seven at the moment alongside uh, Clove Hitch, who's also just been weak in the last few minutes. Clove Hitch, the last one to go forward for the best odds on the Betfair Exchange. Superior mile stakes, one mile is the trip. Seven of them line across and run about a furlong and a half before they reach the bend. They're off and racing. Witch Hunter missed the start, crosses behind the field, and out in the lead, Holloway Boy is the first one to show to any advantage, being kept wide early on as Regal Reality and Sparks fly closer to the inside running rail. Holloway Boy just trying to work a passage in. Clearly, William Buick didn't want to lead. Well, now just try and avoid being caught wide. Clove Hitch races fourth, Cicero's Gift is in fifth place, and the last two are the well-backed Prague and last of all, Prague and last of all Witch Hunter. Sparks fly on the outside of Regal Reality. Holloway Boy got in, just one off the running rail in the red and white quarters on the outside of Clove Hitch. Cicero's Gift in the pink jacket and the last two Prague and right at the rear having been steadied at the start is Witch Hunter. Prague quite keen despite being under restraint as Sparks fly just begins to try and press on round the home turn. Sparks fly leading by over a length now from in second Regal Reality. Holloway Boy in third. Clove Hitch just hanging slightly in fourth place shaken up Cicero's gift Prague and Witch Hunter Sparks fly leading Regal Reality by just over a length as they make their way past the three furlong pole Clove Hitch on the running rail Holloway Boy Cicero's gift on the outside Witch Hunter and Prague's going to prot a brave course under Danny Tuthope still trying to find a way through green and purple colours two furlongs to go Regal Reality joins Sparks fly Holloway Boy shaken up Cicero's gift Prague still trying to work through the field Witch Hunter down the outside trying to unleash his run Holloway boy now Prague's out in the clear and begins to angle to challenge Witch Hunter down the outside Regal Reality still there Holloway boy trying to repel Prague and Witch Hunter on the run to the line Holloway boy this will be his group race Holloway boy beat Prague and Witch Hunter who came from the back but couldn't get by Cicero's gift was fourth Regal Reality Klovich and pace setting Sparks fly Possibly slightly better positioned in the run. Holloway Boy at 7 to 2. William Buick, rare winner for him for Carl Burke. And Nick White can celebrate that first success since the Chesham and this at Group 3 level. Second place goes to Prague on the far side from Witch Hunter. They both came from the back. Prague got a perfectly good passage. They both couldn't claw Holloway Boy back. Cicero's gift across the line in fourth place from Regal Reality. Holloway Boy, the epitome of consistency in big handicaps this season, gets his group race. William Buick in the second. And that long, long wait is over. He's hit the bar so many times since winning first time up at Royal Ascot in 2022 in the colours of Nick White. Can't wait for that interview with Ollie again and Elaine Burke, who is Carl's wife. Carl's going to enjoy this. Now, Jason, where did the second and third come from? Yeah, well, well, Buick, first of all, has got a beautiful tune out of him. You know, one of those, he probably wanted to get there a little bit later than he has, but he has gone committed, determined, and which hunter all Although he flashes home late in the day, there was a moment, a real moment, where Prague was caught on heels and went back inside and maybe sort of just checked his momentum. Yeah, this will be good to see where they are lane-wise, I suppose, because Holloway Boy was just... Well, he wasn't really, but I suppose on Prague, Danny Tadhoff was thinking, OK, am I going to go out to the right of him? And then he thought, oh, hang on, no, I haven't quite got the gap there. Holloway Boy's gone to his right a little bit, so he switched back to the left, and he probably didn't want to be changing course, losing momentum that much, and probably had it been a little bit further. You could see Prague closing in a bit more on Holloway Boy. And winning rider, William Buick, is with Ollie. He is a Liverpool fan normally, but he's a gooner today. Well done, William. Um, this horse deserved this, didn't he? He really did, yeah. Um been around a while and he's been in all these good races so today it felt right for him and uh, he only does enough in front but he was always doing it um, beautiful ground out there and it suited him happy with how it all unfolded for him yeah it was uh, i mean carl was sort of quite open-minded about it but he's just a very uncomplicated horse and that's the way it sort of worked out for him and you said the, the ground's perfect yeah beautiful ground you know, you'd imagine that it's, it's just perfect flat, flat racing ground, really. Excellent. Well done. Thanks, Ollie. Carl Burke's going to really enjoy this, the winning trainer, who could have a very big day. He's got three guns to fire in the Betfair Sprint Cup later today. He's won our opener with Holloway Boy, who was 5-1 to one with Bet365 and William Hill overnight. The sponsors Betfair knew they were only 7-2, to two, along with Paddy Power, went off at 7-2. to two. That's because Prague was so well back to the 130, finished in second. Witch Hunter, fast finishing 
in third. There's a lane. 